Hey guys, it's Rebecca Rissat. In today's video, I am testing out something I never thought I would have, but because I went to, for my birthday, and I picked up my birthday gift, and I traded in a voucher for a perfume, Jason said, is there anything that you want? And I was like, yes. So I will do a like mini Sephora unbagging another time, but I have to get ready because we're fixing to leave to go somewhere. And so I'm going to be testing out for the very first time this Fenty Beauty foundation. This is the uh, Ease Drops Blurring Skin Tint and I have shade 3. I got shade matched in the store. I put it on my hand. I went outside to make sure it was the right shade. It dries down like a powder. This stuff is kind of like amazing on the skin. I haven't tried it on my face yet. So I have the Tarte Quench Hydrating Primer on this half of my face. Um, I have the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush. It basically says light to medium coverage for all skin tones. Blends and blurs instantly to perfection, light as air. So I don't know how many drops you're supposed to use. I don't know any of that. All I know is that one drop covered like my hand and half my face. So we'll see. Um, I think I'm going to put this on my hand. Okay, there was four and a half. There it is there. I, you know what, I better zoom this in now. I'll forget in editing. Okay, I zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna take this as a Sigma F80 and I'm gonna be filming with something else after this, which is also a first impression. So this is a first impressions video. I'm just kind of jumping right in. And <laughs> like vanished on my skin. There is product on the brush, I promise. Maybe putting it on my hand first wasn't a good idea. Maybe I should just spread it all over my finger first. So four drops didn't go very far. Let me try this. Three. Okay, that's a lot better. So drop it on your fingers first, spread it on your face, and then go with it uh, a brush. I think, of course, I didn't do anything to my nose and like half my forehead didn't get done. So I'm gonna do one little bit here to kind of like spread this out. And then I'm going to hit this area here that I didn't really get. And let's see if I can cover up that. I want to make sure I get it out towards the end of the tails and my brows. So let me clean my fingers off. I think the color match is really good. 
matches the rest of my body. Can't stand having shit on my lips, which is why I can't wear liquid lipsticks. I used a little bit more than I was anticipating, so I think going in with my fingers first, I'm going to zoom the camera all the way in and then show you guys what it looks like right now without fussing with it. I do have a damp Juno and Co sponge here and me baby one to, um, you know, go over it just a little bit, but I think for the most part it looks really good. And you guys know I absolutely hate foundation. Let's see if those little forehead lines are... Okay, so it is settling. If it'll focus. Those little forehead lines I have up here, it's gathering in there a little bit. So I'm going to try and tap that out with my sponge. And hope it doesn't take coverage away. I'm not really concerned about my forehead wrinkles. I just want to see if it will tap out or if it's set. And I did a heavy duty moisturizer before I started this because my skin's been super dry. So all the little breakout spots in between here are like having a raw blind woman. And it's clinging to the scab there. Well, it's not a scab, the scaly piece around the outside of it. My nose looks like the Sahara Desert. <laughs> but that's pretty common for it anyways, so. rest of my face looks really good so I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of my shape tape concealer and then a light powder under that or on that And that's in light sand, by the way. If you're wondering, shade three for the foundation, light sand and shape tape. Might as well just use this to set me by my eyes because I'm gonna be doing a shadow next. Itchy. 
Now I'm gonna let this sit. I will come back and do the rest of my face on camera after I do my eye makeup because the eye makeup has something in it that I kind of want to use for blush. So I will stop recording here and I will be back in a minute with an eye look done and it'll be magic, right? Maybe? Anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so now I am done with my face. Um, I did film the face stuff when I got done with the eyes, so I will have to like include that clip in here. Yes, it'll make this video a little bit longer, but that's okay. Um, I didn't have to set my face with powder. I do feel, but that's also like the primer I'm feeling, and I have a heavy duty moisturizer on. I don't like feel like tacky or sticky. I feel like there's some like moisture behind my face. It's not like rubbing off on my fingers either. So, you know, that's a bonus. Um, CXC Beauty Bronzer and their eyeshadow palette for blush and highlight. Um, I did powder here. I powdered a little bit down here to correct some boo-boos, but other than that, I didn't powder the rest of my face. I'm going to see how this wears as we go out and do things and whatnot, and I will have to let you guys know how it, it wears. Um, I will try and do like a check-in with my phone, and I'll try and do this and like I'll use my phone to record in direct sunlight. So yeah, so far so good. I've been filming, what time is it? 8.39. Um, my phone thinks I'm, or my watch thinks I'm asleep which technically it's past my bedtime, um, but that's okay. Anyways, I will see how this like wears while we're out and then when I come home, I'll try and do like a video before I wash it off and let you guys know how it wore, what it felt like. Right now, it feels fine. Like I don't even feel like I'm wearing anything other than the moisturizer that I put on, which is super heavy duty. So yeah. I think now that I, you know, it's funny when I pulled my hair down, my face looked a little bit on the peach side. So hopefully that, I think maybe it's oxidized just a little bit, but my arms don't match my face either. So, cause I've had sun, but it matches. Nope. My face is still a little bit darker than my, my shoulder, but that's okay. Hey guys, it's Rick Overstadt. I just got done eating at Cracker Barrel with Jason. I forgot to film my makeup of the day, or the outfit, um, for what I'm wearing on my face. This lipstick, I absolutely hate it. I hate liquid lipsticks, but only a little bit of it actually wore off while we were eating, so that's a good thing, I guess. Um, I am wearing CXC Beauty bronzer, the eyeshadows that I made into a blush, an eyeshadow that I made into a highlight, and the eyeshadow is from CXC Beauty. So, anyways, today's makeup look, an outfit, and shoes. So, I don't know. I, get, I think I got it all in. So, anyways, Cracker Barrel, we just ate. We're gonna go look at home stuff. And then, yeah, see you guys later. Bye. Okay, I figured I'd record this since I'm inside a mobile home. I'm standing in a window, I'm sweating my butt off. But this foundation still looks really good. And I've been dabbing. But I'm like really sweaty. Okay, so Jason and I just got home. Um, figured I would film my makeup before I go get a shower. I got a phone call to make really quick or two. But I think we're putting this on at like 6 o'clock this morning. And it is... 12:45 now. I've had it on for six hours. I've been sweating my ass off for I don't know about four hours or so. So I've been like dabbing my face and whatnot. So I think the foundation has held up really well, and the eye makeup is still looking fantastic too. So I'll do some shots in the bathroom before I get in the shower. Okay. I am finally about to take this off. It is 2.35 right now. So I figured I'd do a close up really quick. I have been standing outside for like 45 minutes to an hour, sweating in the Florida sun. I've had my sunglasses on. 
eye makeup still looks amazing. Got a little bit of creasing going on on this side, I think. Can't quite tell yet. I think for me dabbing on my, my upper lip, it still looks pretty good. It's doing a whole lot better than that Givenchy foundation, I'll tell you that. So, I just want to get this on my face and it's disgusting. I don't like it. But yeah, that's I like so it. looks pretty good. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm all kinds of different colors right now because my legs don't even match the rest of me. Like the top half of my leg is one shade and the bottom half of my leg is another shade. So anyways, I'm going to go so that we can get on the road and there are people on the roof putting in solar right now. So that's all kinds of noise stuff going on up there. If you hear, it's done with hammers and there's a drill going. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a fantabulous day or night wherever you are and I will see you in another video very soon. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm very shocked that I was able to get this because you guys know that I really wasn't into the whole Rihanna thing. I will have to find that video and stick it in here in the like description box or something. Um, I wasn't really intrigued by anything by her brand. And then somebody was raving about this foundation about how it doesn't feel like anything on the skin. I'm like, sign me up. <laughs> because I want something that kind of like evens out my skin but doesn't make me feel like I'm wearing a mask. Even though. I still wear a mask when I'm in public, even though I'm vaccinated. So, anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye.